Morning from Metro, just ahead of the 4th of July. Yeah, Metro tells us riders could see major delays up to an hour on Independence Day. News for us, Walter Morris is live at the Smithsonian Station with what you need to know. Hi, Walter. Hi, Doreen. Well, of course, many know and expect Metro to be busy on the 4th of July. But if you are planning on riding Metro to come downtown to watch the fireworks, heads up because wait times could be much longer than normal, especially at this station, which is expected to see the most traffic Monday. Now, Metro officials say this is part of the problem is the reduced number of rail cars available, so they're telling 4th of July riders to prepare to wait 60 minutes or more, especially after fireworks wrap up. Now, Metro Transit Police may limit entry to some stations to avoid overcrowding, and Metro Rail is also recommending riders wait a while after fireworks, maybe check out restaurants downtown or the wharf to help reduce the rush. Now, if you are planning on using Metro on the 4th to get downtown, here are four things to know. Take a look. Metro rest recommends you use stations on the same line to avoid transferring. Consider a station other than the Smithsonian or use Metro bus to get downtown. Load your smart trip card with enough for your round trip to avoid long lines at fair vending machines. And remember, Smithsonian Station will become entry only after 9 p.m. on the 4th. So back out here live. Now heads up it. again. Metro is open Dang. from 7 a.m. to midnight on Monday. That's Independence Day. And again, officials just reminding everybody to plan ahead. Reporting live at the Smithsonian Station, Walter Morris, News 4. Always good advice on the 4th of July around here. And uh, sounds like that's especially the case this year. Thank you. Walter Morris.